Olivia is definitely not a girly girl. She's a tomboy. She loves football. And honestly, she loves the idea of having a new dad since their dad passed away. Oh my gosh, the experience was amazing. Everybody on the set what basically became my second family within like a week of shooting. They're just so nice and especially I had three um two sisters in the movie, so it was really fun to have some other kids on the set. And, but yeah, the directors and everybody was just so nice. Overboard is a sadistic tale about a woman who wants revenge um, on a, a man that was that was a little bit mean to her. Um, it, it's a romantic comedy, and it's about sort of two people that come from very different places in life and end up falling in love. And I'm, I, you know, I'm, I'm really excited to be a part of a movie that um, that I loved so much growing up. She's she's had a lot of struggle in life. She's a widow, um, and she finds herself in a place where she can take advantage of a pretty wealthy jerk, and then they end up falling in love. I hope that it's it's a it's a really it is a really family friendly movie. I hope that people I hope people think it's really funny and it's really charming. And I think that these these kinds of movies aren't made that much anymore. So I love the idea that it would that it uh, that it's ro that it's romantic while still being um, really funny. Which I, I know that's a simplistic way to put it. It's about a, a rich playboy uh, bachelor who uh, gets amnesia after. Um, um, uh, treating uh, his, uh, you know, the Anna Ferris's character somewhat poorly, and she gets her, uh, you know, his comeuppance by um, her pretending to be um, that they're married. And you could say it's a redemption story. It's a man who is kind of selfish and hedonistic, and he, and through family and community and love, is redeemed. The switching the roles and having like someone like Eugenio and what he brings to the movie made it so that it would be worth remaking for us. Otherwise, we'd just be doing another version of a movie that people like. We were incredibly lucky, and, and it was everybody was delightful. Eugenio, it starts with Eugenio and Anna, and they're both super talented and funny and nice, and so we kind of created this little family, and everyone loved each other, and the kids loved each other, and it was we were fortunate and blessed to have a, like a talented and nice cast. A lot of laughs, a lot of good feeling, a lot of heart, and um, something a little bit different than the original if they liked it. I think we all know a little bit about Overboard. I think we all have great memories about it, but this is a totally different take on it, and I think you guys will enjoy it a lot. What can you tell us about your character? Well, she's, uh, I hope she's funny. I haven't seen the movie, but I hope she's funny, and, uh, and she's uh, a little wicked. Oh, I think uh, it appeals to several generations. I think some generations are going to feel a lot of nostalgia and are going to enjoy remembering the original movie. And for newer gener or younger generations, I think it's going to be fun and it's going to be romantic and it's going to be uh, interesting to see a mix of cultures, especially when we're going through so much stuff politically in this country and elsewhere. Oh, everyone is fabulous in this cast. Everyone is sweet. It was fun. It was easy. To laugh a lot. And it's this movie, it's a, first of all, it's a family movie. So you can bring the entire family. There's no family movies lately. So you can, you, you can bring everyone here, and you're going to laugh a lot, and it's going to touch your heart also. So it, it's, it's a beautiful, beautiful movie. And it's a remake of a classic. Oh my God! It was it really it was a blast. I mean, working with Anna is amazing. Eva Longoria, she's so funny. Mel, oh my God! I mean, really, really, probably this is the most uh, fun movie I've ever shot. Overboard is about a single mom who's struggling, has three kids and three jobs, and struggling to make ends meet, and. Uh, and it's also about this really rich playboy guy who's not so nice and their encounter and a big lie that's told throughout the movie. But I play Teresa and she plays Anna's best friend and really comes up with the idea to trick Eugenio's character into thinking he's her husband. I just wanted to work with Anna because I 
I think she's a comedic genius. Um, I've known Eugenio for a very long time, and so to be in one of his movies is, was an honor. Um, but yeah, it was just a, we had so much fun. We shot in Vancouver. It was like the best summer ever. We it was we just had a really great great cast with us. You can expect a lot of heart, a lot of laughs, um, and a, it's just a fun ride. I feel like we were gonna go and have a good time and laugh a little bit and uh, walk out uh, with a little love too, you know. I play Jason in the movie. I think he's a I think he's a lovable cat. I think he uh, meets Eugenio's character and uh, you know I think that he wants to kind of support him and be his buddy throughout the journey, you know. I think they can expect to party, you know. I think that. We talk a lot about uh, just what family is and, and uh, maybe your expectations uh, change or your expectations or reality kind of shifts how you feel about certain things. And I think it's a good story, you know, a rag to riches story, but more importantly, finding a little love and maybe finding yourself throughout the journey. Oh man, I had the best time. I had, I had just spent a, a year in Vancouver prior to it. So I was a little, I, I was familiar with Vancouver. I feel like I had my feet down so I could just enjoy the cast entirely, you know, and just laughing with Eugenio every day with Anna. They're the best, you know, and it starts from the top down. So we had the best time. It's just a great uh, comment also on how sometimes, you know, we are configured by the circumstances and we think we're somebody because we live in a particular circumstance, but then they shake us up and we discover that what really matters in the bottom line is love and just that everybody loves being loved. Everybody loves being nice. My character is Sofia. Uh, she's the sister, the, 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 the sister. She's not the older sister. She's the little sister of Eugenio and she's very protective of Leonardo and she loves him and she looks up to him so she's got a very special relationship with the brothers. It's a, it's a great comedy, it's a family comedy for the whole family. In Mexico we're gonna uh, open on the cinemas on Mother's Day. I am an admirer of Eugenio for a long time in Mexico so that was very special you know to, to be able to work with him and also well, to be able to merge with another culture, that is, we're neighbors, we're so close by, and we share so many things too, and now to, to, sh you know, to share a story, it's not the first time, but here it's merged uh, very consciously, and, uh, and with a humorous purpose, and you know, we find that humor is universal. We're kind of the plotters. Uh, we convince Anna to kind of uh, take Eugenio and while he has amnesia and use him to do some like work around the house and work for me at the at my construction company. Eve and I are, are married. Uh, we've been married since high school. We're high school sweethearts. Wonderful. It really was. I've known Eva for 20 years uh, and Eugenio and, and Anna are both just, you know, two of the sweetest people I've ever met. I play Grace, who is Anna's mom, and she is an actress of the theater. She's a woman of the theater, and she um, is, um, you know, wants to follow her dream and do community theater. Oh, it was amazing. We were in Vancouver, and Anna was so wonderful. I just worked with Anna. I didn't, but I, I met Eugenio several times, and he's just a, they're both dreamboats. And uh, Rob and Bob, the writer-directors, are such great guys. Oh, God, I think a great, great fun time and just a rollicking comedy. And it actually has a great message, I think. You know, follow your dream.